It will have the effect of, of making it impossible for us in North Carolina to regulate any of our um, natural resources uh, in, in ways that are best for us. Instead, it reduces us to some sort of federal minimum. Um, another thing that bill does is it, um, it, it stipulates that no future bills can, no future environmental regulations can be passed without jumping through an unbelievable number of flaming hoops backwards. I mean, it's basically uh, a, a, a tangled mess. Uh, many, many standards have to be met, some of them contradictory. Uh, many, many processes have to be gone through. Uh, the fiscal note on this bill is very discouraging. Uh, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, in order to meet these requirements, would have to add um, more than a dozen new staff. Uh, would have to have a substantial increase in its budget, and those numbers are based on the condition of the department before its recent uh, very serious uh, uh, budgetary cuts under the budget that the governor vetoed. So uh, the, 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 the uh, new bill basically makes it impossible for uh, the state's environmental managers to to manage the environment. It, it, it limits their ability to do that. The third thing the bill does, and this is quite draconian, uh, is it requires that all existing rules and regulations have to be reviewed annually. Uh, and if they exceed any of these standards, federal minimums, um, uh, maximum cost or maximum cost impact, uh, cost benefit, uh, impacts on, on small businesses, you name it, these, um, uh, then, then they have to be remade. Those rules have to be revisited and, and done over. And the result is that, that, that uh, um, this bill essentially would end uh, the state's ability to manage its own natural resources. And this is not what the people in North Carolina want.